What's going on guys? Now it is incredibly early right now and the reason that I'm recording this is because today I'm giving you guys a behind the scenes look at a day in the life of me. So I've had the idea for a behind the scenes video for a while now and I've actually gotten a few suggestions here recently and I think now is the perfect time. So there's going to be two parts of the video. The first part is going to take place on location here on the beautiful island of Kauai here in Hawaii where I'm going to be showing you guys everything that goes into the day of filming. There's a lot of prep, there's a lot of of work that goes into filming and today I'm going to be showing you guys all of that but after that the second part of the video is going to fast forward a few weeks into the future when I'm back home in the States and there it's going to show you a day in the life of how I actually edit and publish my videos so today's adventure is going to be an underwater one I found a very secluded and secret beach here on the island of Kauai where me and my girlfriend are going to be going diving and snorkeling on it and any day that you're getting in the water you need to get a very early jump to it and since it is so early I got to start getting my gear all ready to go and then it's gonna be time to go film the video so here's a little look at all of the gear I have to bring along today all of this over here of course is my dive stuff my fins my mask my snorkel but I've also got my weights in my weight belt I have my dry bag I have my nomad with two batteries which is what I'm going to be using to dive today and here I have my drone with two batteries ready to get aerials which is gonna be the first thing that I do when I get there and then up here on the table is where I have all of my camera stuff I have all my extra supplies in here I'm filming with my hero right now this is my camera housing for my GH5S right here my dive housing for my GoPro and then I also have this underwater selfie stick to get some awesome shots it's pretty safe to say that there's a ton of gear you have to lug it around everywhere you go when you're an outdoor youtuber like I am it does get a little bit tiring but you know it's worth it to capture awesome footage We just made it to today's spot. Check out how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the drone in the air and kind of get an aerial perspective of the whole reef. And then after that, it's gonna be time to hop in. So I just got my drone in the air, check it out, it looks phenomenal, I did find some sea turtles and then I just got done filming my intro, so now it's time to get all geared up and hop into the water. Okay, well, I've just spent the last about four hours here getting all the footage I can, taking her diving for the first time on this beautiful beach here. But the next step is going to be a few weeks down the line when I get home and it'll be actually time to sort through all of the footage and edit the video together. So let's fast forward to that right now. All right guys, well it has officially been almost two full weeks since I filmed that video and I'm clearly not in Hawaii anymore. I'm back in my apartment at home and here's my office right here, my little setup with my desk and my computer. This is where I get all of my work done. That includes editing, responding to emails, comments, basically anything you can imagine a YouTuber doing gets done right here at my desk. I've even got my little Michael Scott office glass to keep me hydrated throughout the day. But yeah, this is where all the work gets done and now I'm starting to get to work on that video that I filmed in Hawaii just a few weeks ago. Now the first step in that video is gonna be going through all of the footage I captured. There's probably over an hour or two of footage just from that one shoot day. And after I look at all the footage and I see what I have to work with, that's when it's gonna be time to start writing a script, come up with a video title, and start to narrow down some possible thumbnails. But I do plan on getting this video out in two days. There's a ton of work to be done. It's early in the morning, so let's get to work. Okay, so now that I've sorted through all of the footage, I have imported all of the shots that I do want to include. But for this video, most of the shots actually came out really, really well. So I imported probably about 75% of them. And then once I get done writing the script and I actually get down to editing, that's when I'm going to decide which clips from that 75% are actually going to be included in the video. However, I have been working hard and it is lunchtime, so I'm taking a little break to eat some lunch and continue writing my script. 
Okay, so after a few hours of working, the script is completely done, and that's given me a little bit of free time to work together a short to upload right now. The shorts are super easy to make and even easier to upload, and they're something that get a lot of views that can really gain exposure for my channel. So while I have some free time right here, I whipped together this 21 second short of me getting inked by an octopus as you can see right there it's one of the coolest shots i've ever captured okay so another really strange thing about shorts compared to just youtube videos in general is that they are uploaded using your phone and so it's all ready to go and you can see just how simple and easy it is to actually upload a short on youtube so the short i just uploaded is already over a thousand views in just about half an hour and it's already gained about 10 subscribers which is really good in that time frame but so far today i have looked through and imported all of the footage. I was able to write the entire script for the video, and I've even picked out a few thumbnail options. I spent the next few hours creating video notes, looking over thumbnails, doing research for titles, and answering emails. By that point, it was almost 7 p.m., so let's flash forward to the next day when I dive deep into the editing process. But now that we knew it was awesome, it was time to go back to shore to get her ready to dive. So I get questions about my underwater videos all the time, asking how I get my color so good and the most important thing with getting good color in your underwater shots is white balance so this is me changing up the white balance and you can see different places I click around the image are changing how the video looks so this is it raw right here and what I want to do is I want to get it a darker blue and I want it to look as cinematic as possible so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click around kind of the lighter spots in the video until I find one that looks the best and you can see kind of this area right here on the turtle gets rid of some of that green color and makes it a lot more blue. So after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna change up the lighting. I'm gonna tone it down a little bit and that's gonna make it look really cinematic. And this is just kind of a rough edit on the go, but you can see how much better the video looked than before. But yeah, all of my videos have what's called a hook to get my audience engaged and to give a little kind of a rundown of what the video is gonna be like. And I have that part pretty much complete. I just need to add um, an escape at the end to transition to the rest of the video. But so far it's going pretty smoothly. I like how this video is coming out. So when it comes to picking thumbnails, once the video is complete, that's when I will scan through the whole thing. You can see the whole saved file right here. And what I'll do is I'll scan through and I'll see which sections or, or which clips of the video I think are the most eye-catching. Now after looking at them carefully and comparing side by side, I've gone with this one as the correct choice. And to make it a little more eye-catching to the viewer, I toned up the color a lot, I made it brighter, I made it more vibrant. And then I also added this red arrow in, which is very eye-catching to a viewer. And here is the final setup of the video, the title, the description, everything. And then my description on every video is the same, except in two areas. Uh, the first area is gonna be right here, this description of the video. Of course, every different one's gonna have um, a different description. And then the other part that's different is tags. This basically just helps me get recognized more in YouTube search. So it is officially the next day after uploading. The video is performing pretty well. Um, the click-through rate is really, really good, and so is the audience rendition. You guys have seen my process, a day in the life of me, how I edit, how I write scripts, and how I upload videos. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into every single video, so those weeks where you see me uploading three or four videos over the course of those seven days, it's safe to say that a lot of man hours have been put in. But I wanna know what you guys think, so comment down below if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. But that is gonna wrap up this two week long adventure video, but before you go, make sure to smash that like button, and most importantly subscribe if you haven't already, with notifications turned on so you never miss out on new videos. I'm Ray Tiller, and I'll see you on the next adventure.